Shocking. Ah, the good old memories that always bring a smile to me whenever I talk about it to my family or friends. So, where should I begin? Well, the decision to get into trucking was something that I'd never ever considered or even thought about until I moved to the United States. Being an airline pilot was really what I wanted to do originally, given I love flying, seeing new places and trying new food. The best part was having to see beautiful sunrises and sunsets. After talking to a few pilots who were family friends and learning that you had to be excellent in math and science, I knew right away that my dream had ended before it even began. I sucked at math, calculus, algebra, and the other funnies. Blah, not the other fancy stuff to be specific. So I had to consider other career paths to fuel my void of travel and see new places. After a while of doing some odd and end jobs over the years, it became redundantly boring, and I knew that I wanted to do something different. My wife and I spoke about getting into trucking on most weekends and after a while, we both decided it made the most sense for our family. I knew in the long run it would open up a lot of options for me once I gained the required time and experience. For as long as I can remember, I've always been fascinated by the bigger modes of transport out there, whether it be trucks, buses or planes. I started out by gathering info from 2010 onwards by asking a few drivers that I knew at the time. One was a fuel tanker driver and the other used to be a reefer driver. Both of them were physically demanding jobs and each of them had their own shares of pros and cons. After having a few conversations with each of the drivers, I decided to do my own research online and see which trucking schools were nearby. The things I was looking for were a good curriculum, equipment and the quality of drivers they were graduating, but most importantly, how much the tuition would be and if I could afford it. After making an initial phone call and then a trip to the school, I was able to decide on a trucking school that was close to where I stayed and worked. This was perfect as I was able to schedule and start with their night classes. The big day finally came and I was ready and excited to begin something that I had been thinking about for a long time now. I was going to learn how to drive a semi truck. The evening class began like any other one I had taken in the past with the instructors introducing themselves and talking a little bit about their trucking journey and their careers as truckers. That was then followed by all the students in the class having to give a brief intro about themselves and why is it they chose to get into trucking besides the other careers that were out there. Later on that evening, we were all instructed that since this was our first night, they wanted us to go out and do a walk around the park semi-trucks they use for the training, mainly to get familiar around the equipment, but also to make sure that this was something we all really wanted to do. So, can y'all guess what happened next? Well, if some of y'all guess excitement, yep, you're right. But it was more like a little panic attack. And I was like, oh crap. I called my wife up and I was like, are the kids asleep? And she said, yeah, why? Well, we need, we need to talk. I know I said I wanted to do this, but damn, these semis are huge. And I feel like a little ant next to them. I'm not sure if I made the right decision to do this. There was a brief pause on the phone which felt like an eternity and my wife responded with are you serious or is this just a lame joke i had to think of a quick response something that was smart and not stupid and say said yeah i was just kidding and that we were getting ready to go back to class as soon as i got off the phone and headed back to class i knew i had to calm down and not let my nerves control me the little annoying voice in my head was like, Dude, you did not come this far just to freaking quit without trying. All of the cool sights and the beautiful states that I had looked up and wanted to see would come to an end before it even started. So I decided right then and there, I was going to make it through no matter what the obstacle. The next few days and weeks to follow were full of fun and exciting things. We started out on a structured and learning journey designed to equip us with the knowledge and skills necessary to excel in this profession. Our classroom sessions covered the theoretical aspects of trucking, including understanding traffic laws, map reading, and load securement, while the practical training sessions offered hands-on experience behind the wheel. 
Both of our instructors combined had a wealth of knowledge to share. They guided us through various maneuvers from basic driving techniques to more complex tasks like backing up and navigating tight spaces, ensuring that we develop the confidence needed to operate a commercial vehicle safely and pass the state exam on the final day. All in all, it was a fun experience for the most part, and I enjoyed my time learning from the instructors and my fellow students. Before we knew it, our last week had begun and the course was coming to an end. We started scheduling to take our road tests, after which we would finally have the much anticipated Class A CDL. It was a feeling of excitement and nervousness knowing that after this, I would be officially applying to trucking companies and making a decision on which one to work for. After carefully considering what each trucking company had to offer in terms of safety scores, equipment, pay, and home time, just to name a few, I decided to go with Schneider, also known as the Orange Pumpkin Carrier, for obvious reasons. I officially began my trucking adventures as an OTR team driver for Schneider and loved every minute of it. I could probably go on and on about my trucking adventures, but to keep you all coming back for more, I'll apply the brakes gently on this story and resume with another one at a later time. I hope you'll enjoyed my onboarding process about getting into trucking school and then starting out with the trucking company. So for all of the people still watching, I'd like to say a huge thanks to all of you. I hope this was not too long, but just like drawing, I enjoyed what I did and it's always exciting to talk about it. Let me know what you thought about my art, all the stories and leave me a comment below. I'd also like to share with you all the different platforms on which I have my art listed for sale or merch if anyone's interested. Redbubble and Tea Public, shop name Nomadic Blue Art. Till the next time, stay safe, keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see y'all down the road or on the other side.